Okay, let's start the video. So let's look at last night's Powerball game. So look at last night's Powerball game that nobody really did kind of hit that game either. I, if I if I see it correctly, nobody did hit that game. So I can hyper, I just go links to yahoo.com for an eight game prediction or request. Don't need subscription, like my video. Always remember nothing is guaranteed, but always trust yourself. And click on earth icon on the go find my icon, support my cause or support my channel. So again, please do that. And email me for any game prediction at hyper underscore links to yahoo.com or if you want to learn my system, also email, email me for that. I'll be glad to send it to you. And then click on the join button for members video. Please do click on the join button for members video. Post the diesel over there so you can insight better view of how these are or which section will hit. Please click on those videos. You can need that to hit that jackpot also. If you make sure you input the correct for those of you who don't uh want to input the coordinates normally, please do input the coordinate the coordinates in the right section if you input it the wrong color in the wrong section you're not gonna hit the jackpot so again let's i'm gonna update a quick uh quick powerball draw and then i'm gonna go to mega man so let's update the quick powerball draw for last night's draw because the one billion is more important 25 the two double numbers 55 57 and 26 if they do 360, it's gonna throw people off guard to hold the jackpot. Only reason they throw 360s easily hold the jackpot. And people, some people is gonna play 360 for, for Friday's draw. And those people, they they take a big risk of losing out on the jackpot when you play 360 again. Don't do that. Not even 260, I wouldn't even touch 260s. If it comes, nobody hits anyway. So smart people will not do that. So you can, you can take a chance to put 360, 260. Digit zero appear one time. Digit one appear one time. Digit two appear one time and tw uh, two times in 25, 26. Digit, uh, Digit three, digit four, one time, and then one time in the extra four. Uh, yeah, one time and then one time and then one time and the extra four. Digit five, occur one time, two times, uh, three times, 25, 55, 57, I think, yeah. And uh, digit five occur one more time in the extra digit five. Digit six, the six appear one time in 26, the just seven appear one time in 57, the just eight, and digit nine. So not there. Let's calculate how many digits are there. Two, four, five, six, nine, 10, 11, 12. There's 12 digits and there's nine corner being used. Nine corner being used. Nine corner being used. And you drop the six because six is not used in the whiteboard. If it went from an eight to a nine corner game. That's what you want to do. So I'm not going through detail, but if you do it correctly, you can block out another number because you want a seven to be in the center. You want to be seven to be in the center. Four can be isolated because four, why four can be isolated? You see it? You see, you see what I did? You see why four can be isolated? Because there's no other number that you use four. So 44, if you have these that start with 44 or end with 44, you're gonna hit that jackpot. So the four gotta be here, right? It's a nine corner game. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then because six is not used in the whiteboard, it's either six ends or the 44 ends. Doesn't matter, six is isolated. So that leave these section to fill with other digits. I would put a seven somewhere in the middle. That means if you hit these, they have this matrix already, you're in good shape. And 55 cannot be 55 cannot be wiped out because why? 55 can can be over here, and 55 can be over here for 55. And then you have 26 and 25 over here. Now and then you have 57. 
Now we need the O and the one, right? Easy. Put the O here, and then put the one here. Everything works out. Now if you unlock, I enlarge this matrix, you're gonna have this matrix right here. Do you see it? Have all the winning number over there, and you seven is staple because of blackout. 71, 72, 70, and 75. Now you don't want a six to be over here to swap out because if you do that, you block out the 66 also. But you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that because then if you, because you put the six over there, you're adding it to the matrix. You don't want to do that. You want to disconnect the six so it's not added to the matrix. So you're only focusing on these numbers, not including the six. So again, let's get back to the Mega Man. So for those of you who don't have the draw, let's look at the Mega Man draw. On the 729 draw and the 722nd draw. Let's compare, let's compare draws. Let's really compare the Mega Man draws. These are two Mega Man draws. If you compare these two Mega Man draws, these, I told you the corner that hit the 14, 40, 60 and 64. I told you the corner that hit 14. 16 and 64. Let's look at the corner that hit. Let's update everybody. For the 14, I told everybody. Fourteen is somewhere in the blue box. I believe I told everybody somewhere in the blue box. But let's look at corners inside the D. So I told somewhere that 14 is in the blue box. And the 40. For, la for, for last draw, somewhere in the blue box. Or, yeah, no, no, my bad. I told you, I told you some, somewhere in the section, the quadrant four, we need. Did hit the quarter four. Uh, I can't feel that really hit a couple of numbers. Though. Yeah, 14 and 40, somewhere around, around the blue box. Yeah, the 14 and the 40, somewhere around the blue box. So again, the, the section that hit the, the, the eye draw that got the corner was in quarter three. So let's talk about some of the corner that hit last year. You have 07. Oh, 07 that hit was B0 and C7. Let's enlarge it. B0 and C7. Do you see it? That's for 07. The hit last draw was B7. And you have 29.
not really in the t-shirt 29 is not really in the t-shirt you have 60 not really in the t-shirt you have 63 not really in the t-shirt you have 66 not really in the t-shirt you have 15 You have 15 in the bottom. So that 15 in the bottom is HD, H5, H4, and I4. Not C7, uh, C3. C3, B0 and C3. Now, the 15 on the bottom, right? 15. The 15 on the bottom is. Uh, That 15 on the bottom, would be H4 and I4. H4 and I4. Is that 15 on the bottom? Do you, do you see that? So for last draw, only two numbers were in the deezer. It's not good, but they run over the deezer. Now on the previous draw, 14 is used in the blue box. 40. 49 in the D, sir. 60. 60 is in B, 0, and C, no, B, 3, and C, 3. So it's 3. I'm sorry about that. So for that one, B, 3, and C, 3. For this draw, so I'm going to do it red, so you guys can see which draw I'm talking about. Sorry about that. These are red. And then for the black, for black draw, the 60 was in B3 and C3. So B3 and C3. So as, as you can see, back-to-back -back draw, that they pulled the B3 and C3. So again, yeah, for 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 the previous Friday's draw, they put a B three and C three back to back. If you look at the these are, that's why I'm just telling you the corner B three and C three, and you have sixty, and I have sixty four. Uh, I have sixty six. C3 and C4. C3 and, and C4 is 66. Now let's do one more draw. And I have the 16. The 16 is in C3 and B4. Right, so so for that sixteen, so you can see three C three is the main main coins for last Friday's draw, and then C three so hot that it had to come one more time for O seven. You see, it has come one more time for O seven, and some of these numbers. The rest of the numbers are used in the blue box because I don't see 64 in the deezer. So a lot of these numbers were used in the blue box. A lot of number was used in the blue box. So that's why I'm telling you what are the hard coins in the draw. Can focus on the corner. That's why I'm posting the corner so you can see where the hitting points are. The C3 are the hitting points. C3 comes back again. C3 comes back again. You're gonna have for next draw. If C3 comes back again. You're gonna have for 729th draw.
for 729 strong. You're going to have that 7 again being used again. 7 is in C3 for, for Friday's draw. You're going to have 7 being used again for Friday's for Friday's draw. That C3 is going to be used again for Friday. If that C3 comes, you're going to have that 7 being used. And 7 might be the main digit. So you got to watch out about the C3 again. So if you have take a chance, put some lines for C3 as well. So let's go, let's go back to the corner. You got B0, 3, A4, 1, I4, 5 for Mega Man. For Powerball, it's the same. For Powerball, it's the same. Powerball, you got B3 and 0. For Powerball, it's B3 is 0. Okay. For, uh, for, okay. And for Friday's draw for Mega Man, A4, 1, I4, 5. For Powerball, for Wednesday's draw, Wednesday's draw, I'm sorry about that, Wednesday's draw. No, no, Saturday's draw. Saturday's draw, I'm keeping it the same. I'm keeping it the same. So, so let's go back and round up the corners. So, So let's round out the corners. Because I didn't pull a decent I didn't pull a decent for Monday's draw. The decent is gonna be the same for Monday's draw. It's gonna be the same for Saturday's draw. It's gonna be the same for 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 for, for for Saturday's draw, so this Wednesday and Saturday. Saturday is seven thirty, so this is gonna be the same. So, so for the Powerball, for for Powerball, it's the same. B three is one, A four is one, I four is eight. It's Wednesday and Saturday's draw. F2 is 6, B4 is 2, that's for Saturday's draw. Again, Saturday's draw, Wednesday, I'm keeping it for Saturday's draw. B1 is 8, H4 is 2, C1 is 9, E1 is 7, G2 is 7, G4 is 7, C4 is 2, D3 is 0. For Fridays, for that Saturday's draw, same as Wednesday's, these are so. Copy it down if you don't have it. B2 is 4, E2 is 2, B2 is 9, C3 is 1. Wednesday and Saturday's draw. 729, 729. D1 is 5, F4 is 3, E4 is 0, H3 is 1, G3 is 7, C2 is 9. E3 is 3, F1 is 3, D4 is 5, F3 is 6. For Wednesday's draw, remember that. And, and the Saturday's draw is the same thing. So I'm using that. Let's go back to the Mega Man, update the Mega Man draw. For Mega Man's draw, I'm going to repeat this. Friday, 729, B3 is 0. B3 is 0. A4 is 1. I4 is 5. Remember that. Copy it down. F2 is 4. B4 is 1. B1 is 8. H4 is 1. C1 is 8. E1 is 6. G2 is 7. G4 is 8. C4 is 7. D3 is 1. D2 is 2, E2 is 9, B2 is 9, C3 is 7. So again, these are some of the corners I'm going to give you up to here because some of the corners is in the other video and I don't want to go over the 20 minutes, 20, 20 minutes so I'm going to give you the, this quick. 
D1 is 3, F4 is 0. You can watch it slowly in the other video. E4 is 4, H3 is 3. G3 is 5, C2 is 7. E3 is 2, F1 is 9. D4 is 9, F3 is 1. Okay, and again, that important corner right there, that C3 had hit back to back draw. You might want to think about see if that C3 will hit back again. Create some combination using those draw also. So please click the join button members video button. For I posted these are over there as well. Please click that button and click on my channel, click on my name. You can go find me to support my channel or cause. Please do that. Please do that. Donate, subscribe, share, and like my video. And email me for any game prediction at hyper underscore at links at yahoo.com. And always remember nothing is guaranteed, but always trust yourself.